Android phones and tablets are a good option for using with the Disto X2. Many people already have an Android phone, and virtually all of these are equipped with Bluetooth. This is all you need if you want to use it for upgrading the firmware of the Disto X2 or running calibrations. However, if you want to also use it for collecting survey data and sketching digitally, then you'll need a device with an active digitizer and stylus, and you'll need to protect the device from the abuses of a cave trip. I would recommend finding a low-cost, used device that can be subjected to cave conditions without the risk of a large financial investment. Some older phones and tablets that should work include the Samsung Galaxy Note devices, including the Note 3, 4, and 5 phones, as well as the Note 8 tablet. These are widely available on Craigslist or eBay for as little as $100. Other options include the LG Stylus 2 and 3. If you already own a device without an active digitizer, it can be used to capture, store, and export survey data with sketching done using traditional pencil and paper, but this requires an efficient system for managing the equipment. There are a number of different versions of the Android operating system, and depending on the device you use, only certain versions will be supported. Most of the main cave survey applications, including TopoDroid and Quave, work well on versions of the operating system that you're most likely to be using, including Android 4 through 7. As with any electronic device you carry into a cave, you'll need to find ways to protect it from impacts and possibly water. There are many cases on the market, including those from Pelican and Otterbox, that prioritize ruggedness over style or size. Amazon is a good source for these, and cases for older phones or tablets that are no longer in production are often available for big discounts. Most Android devices are charged with a micro USB cable. Some have replaceable batteries, but battery life can usually be managed to last for a full day of survey, and external battery chargers can be used for recharging the devices on multi-day camp trips. Some devices, like the Note 5, have wireless charging, but this is impractical for cave use. While underground, you should turn off functions such as GPS and Wi-Fi, and turn the screen brightness down to below 50%. Also turn on power saving mode and set the screen auto off to something like 30 seconds. Bluetooth pairing of a Disto X2 to an Android device is pretty straightforward. Go into the Bluetooth menu on your Android device and make sure it is turned on, then turn on your Disto X2. The Android device should automatically scan for nearby devices and see the Disto, which will be indicated by its unique serial number. Tap on the device to initiate pairing. Some Disto X hardware versions will prompt you for a passcode for which you can enter four zeros. The latest Disto X2 boards using hardware version 1.1 have a different Bluetooth chip, which will automatically generate a six digit pairing code, which you can just accept. Once the Disto X unit is paired with the Android device, it should be available from within the cave survey software. For now, the various software programs are only able to communicate with one Disto X2 unit at a time. There are several cave survey applications available from the Google Play App Store. Virtually all of them are free. For Disto X2 management, such as updating the firmware or running calibrations, the only current application that performs these functions is TopoDroid. TopoDroid also allows the collection of case survey data from the Disto X2 via Bluetooth, the automatic generation of line plots from this data, and the ability to sketch plan, profile, and cross sections using a stylus. There are many applications available that allow the basic collection of survey data and digital sketching. In addition to TopoDroid, other applications include Quave, SexyTopo, and Cave Survey. All of these applications also claim that they can be used without a Disto X by manually entering survey shot data and then using the software for generating a line plot and making a digital sketch. But the real speed and efficiency is when used in conjunction with the Disto X for the collection and wireless transmission of survey and splay shots. For more detailed information, look for other videos I'm producing that will cover the use of Quave and TopoDroid applications.